Oh, you just moved the camera. <laughs> Put the line up there. Okay, so uh, <laughs> that was a good start. So this is uh, M1 Summer 2016 with the best AS Further Math class to be in this room at this time. Um, a stone is released from rest on a bridge and falls vertically into a lake. Bridge over a lake, exciting. The stone has velocity 14 metres per second. When it enters the lake, calculate the distance the stone falls before it enters the lake and the time after its release when it enters the lake. Okay, uh, the stone is, uh, is falling. It makes sense for us to take downwards as being our positive direction because it's falling downwards. It's released from rest. The acceleration would be 9.8 metres per second per second because it's uh, falling due to gravity. What else is going on? Um, it has a velocity of 14 at the point when it enters the lake, and we need to find the distance that it falls. So we've got u and a and v and s. That looks like a b squared is u squared plus 2as kind of equation. So we are going to do 14 squared is 0 squared plus 2 times 9.8 times s, and I haven't got a calculator handy, but that gives us that gives us 10, doesn't it? Is that right? Exactly 10. s equals 10 metres. Great! Uh, the time after its release, when it enters the lake, so, um, well again, we've, we've got we've got u, a, v, and we need to find t this time, so that is a v equals u plus a t. Question, and so 14 is 0 plus 9.8 times t. And 14 divided by 9.8 gives us 1.43 seconds. That's to three significant figures because that is, uh, what is it, um, 10 over 7. 10 over 7. So you can write that exactly. Great. Four really nice marks. The lake is 15 metres deep and the stone has velocity 20 metres per second immediately before it reaches the bed of the lake. Given that there is no sudden change in the velocity of the stone when it enters the lake, find the acceleration of the stone while it's falling. So we've got, we've got to kind of restart what we're thinking of now. We've got a whole new situation. So in part two, we're going to continue to take downwards as being positive, but we've now got an initial velocity of 14, the speed with which it enters the lake, We've got the stone falling a distance of 15 metres. We've got it with a final velocity of 20. And the question wants us to find the acceleration as it falls through the lake. Because of course it's not accelerated due to gravity now, it's in the water, so we've got a different acceleration. We've got v squared is u squared plus 2as all over again. So 20 squared is 14 squared plus 32 times 15 times s. And if we rearrange that, we end up with 204 over 30, which gives us, that's not an s, that's a, isn't it? Sorry, s was the uh, 15. So rearrange that, and it gives us a is 6.8 meters per second per second. There we go. Um, the, the trick there, the, the, bit, the only place that any of us fell down there was forgetting that, of course, the acceleration has changed once it's entered the water. It's not falling freely due to gravity. And that's stones falling off bridges, maths. At this point, you press the red button again and it stops the video.